Hi there everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Milwaukee 500 oxidation reduction potential meter and how to calibrate it in the box with a set of instructions. And these instructions are explicit as to how to put it in vinegar for 48 hours if you're going to be using a negative oxidation reduction potential or well, ORP of negative. I'm going to be using all the functions of here that give me alkalized water as well as strong acidic water. And in my personal opinion, this is the only machine that actually does a good job. I took it out the box and before I use it, I've got to, I've got to calibrate it. Up at the top there, I have an electrode that is made out of platinum. Um, it is corrosive if I'm going to be using the negative ORPs. Hence, I've got to put it in vinegar for 48 hours before I can even start using it. Today's presentation is I'm going to be using my machine to calibrate it so that I can use it for future presentations. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be filling up strong acidic water in one glass and alkaline water in the other and I'm going to be dipping the two to steady the numbers in between and once I've calibrated that machine then I can take my water reading. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be switching my machine on I'm going to be using my Enagic pH drops just to give you a clear indication as to the alkalinity and the acidity over there we're looking at a strong 2.5 that's 2.5 acidic and over here we're looking at an 11.5 over there Right, 11.5. All right. First thing you've got to do is you obviously got to put the uh, nine volt square battery in there. Switch it on. Now I've had the soaking in vinegar, and it does say use vinegar. I've had this soaking in vinegar for 48 hours. Whenever this probe. Whenever this probe is outside of the vinegar, it's going to get dry. And so the company doesn't actually want you to use uh, to do that. So whenever you are not using this probe, always store it in vinegar. This little cap that it comes with is only a storage cap for transportation. And it only allows you to put a little bit in when you are um, in transportation from presentation to presentation. So you take the cap off, you switch the machine on, and now I put that in my strong acidic water, and you will see the readings go up quite drastically. So this is strong acidic water. So I've got a reading of 276. Then I'm going to go to my alkalized water. And can you see that little over there? It's gone into the negative 800. So what I'm doing is I'm going from one extreme, 2.5, all the way to 11.5 there. I do this reading first until the numbers stop. Then I do that one until the numbers stop. I do it again. I do it again and then I can use that as my calibration. I put this into my acidic water again 
and I'll just give it a twirl. So it is in my positive 300s. These, th these things take time, so don't rush them. Put the kettle on, have a cup of tea. So it's 351. I move it back to my alkalized water. Can you see that little number there? It's jumped straight into the negative. So negative 807. All right. Back to this one, into my acidic. And once the number stops, my machine is then calibrated. So I'm happy with it sitting at three, 352. I take it out, I grab whatever it is. Okay, that's going to be cleaning. So whatever it is, I put that in and that's going to be my reading. Okay. So people, whenever you calibrate your machine for presentations, make sure that you take the time to calibrate it properly or else your negative readings are going to be incorrect. Your positive readings, in other words, the reverse osmosis bottles of water that you're going to be using, you don't need to calibrate the machine for that because anything positive, it's already been calibrated. Whenever it's a negative number, we're reading those numbers there. All right. And whenever we're reading those numbers there, your ORP meter has to be calibrated. Well, I hope this is uh, beneficial information for you. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you found this informative. Uh, I've got a few more coming up the line and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.